y'all, it's your boy J. Cruz, AKA Noir's the Audio Cat here with another day and another video for y'all. First of all, we wanna thank you guys for watching the channel. Thank you guys for the subscribes. Thank you guys for the support. Don't forget to always comment below and tell us what you feel about the videos and share it out with your friends, man. 2020 was a difficult year for a lot of people. 2021, it's gonna be whatever you make out of it, man. In reality, um, if you stay focused and you stay positive, man, you should be able to make this the best year you've ever had. Uh, There's some defeat stories in 2020. There's some success stories in 2020. You choose the one that you want, man. That's what I wanna start the video off with today. But we have got the beautiful for the shop today, man. We got a client of ours named Tremaine. Has a couple cars that we've done for him. He has another one he brought today for a full build and audio. We're doing front speakers, dash speakers, back speakers, subwoofers, uh, five channel amplifier and uh, the wiring, doing some headlight changes and other stuff for his car. I'm gonna introduce you to the vehicle right now. It's a 1987 Ford Mustang GT. For you guys that don't know, as some of the older generation watching this video, the Mustangs from 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, and 93 were one of the fastest cars you could buy in the streets in those days. Faster than the Corvettes were, faster than the IROC Zs. Uh, people could defer. This stuff that we had in our house. We had IROCs, we had Corvettes, we had the 5.0s. Uh, the way that we got into the 5.0 Mustang in the day was when the 5.0 87 GT came out, my father had a niece named um, Diana who had one. And uh, it was a beautiful car in this day, and it's still beautiful to this day. So we rented one from a place over there, and we went out playing around, and we were very, very impressed. This car only had 245 horsepower when they came out with the fuel injection system in 87. And to us today, that doesn't seem like a lot, but in his day, it was a great and powerful muscle car. It was the car to own. Uh, reason I tell you this is that this vehicle here used to be 245 horsepower, but they used to move. It was approximately about a 14-second car. Back in the day if you had a 12 second car you were really really fast y'all the 14 second one with this mustang did but it was a beautiful car i'm gonna introduce you to the mustang from tremaine this is the 5.0 mustang gt they came in the gt platform they also came in a version known as the lx that they call today the fox body they're both fox bodies but the gt was more the premium version of the 5.0 back in the day it wasn't like today where you could buy the mustang in a 5.0 version um, and now we have the ones that are called EcoBoost, but they're different tiers. The cars look exactly the same. In these years, they made it different with the GT was only a 5.0 version of the vehicle. Then we have the regular ones that y'all know as Fox Bodies, the Alexis. They came in the six cylinder platform, the four cylinder platform, and also the 5.0. This one here is the GT premium package car. The tail light were different. It always had this little spoiler in the back that said Mustang GT to let you know what you were driving. You could always tell by that spoiler kit on the side. Also on the side skirts here, you pay attention, it also says Mustang GT, the famous 5.0 bags. That was the original rim from the Mustang in his day. And then it had this side skirt here, which, uh, sorry, the front splitter. That was the 5.0 GT. This was the powerhouse for the vehicles. The 5.0 high output motor, fuel injection came out in 87. The ones before that were carbureted. Um, this one here was 245 horsepower. And it was the car to try to beat on the streets. It was very, 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 very popular. In fact, a lot of songs, y'all even know Vanilla Ice came out with a song on this car, a rolling in my 5.0. It was the car to own, guys. It really was the car to own. If you had a 5.0, you had a fast car and people respected it a lot on the streets. This vehicle today, we're gonna be getting it, doing some modifications, doing a double dim, a five channel, front speakers, dash speakers, rear speakers, subwoofer kit, uh, upgrading the headlights and a couple more mods that I want you to stay tuned in this video so you can see. But this is the original car that gave the 5.0 the reputation. When you see these cars in the streets, man, this is the pioneer of the 5.0. This is the five speed manual. That's what the radio look like right now. This one got the beautiful blue interior. This was the headlights. This was the fog lights, guys. Look how the car used to work back in the day. This is the car that was the car to own. He got you got a new top on this one he just had done. But we're going to be working on this build right now. And I'm going to have the guy start disassembling to be able to get this car built today for Tremaine, our client, for many, many years. Great customer. Great people, it's always our privilege to work on that car. I'm gonna get the guys to start doing this dismantle and y'all can stay tuned in a few. When we have began the disassembly, they have removed the back seat. The car really has these clips that are right here. So the seat sits right here, you gotta push it in and push it out to get the seat out. But we're gonna move these side panels and everything to get her going because they're beginning the disassembly now. As you can also see, we've already disassembled the driver's side door. So now with everything being disassembled, we can get ready to um, get our new equipment installed in the vehicle 
and uh, get everything situated for this customer to have a beautiful build on this car. Uh, Y'all gonna see it can be an amazing. Stay tuned. All right, crew, Chuko, the teardown has uh, finally pretty much gotten ready. You can see all the panels are removed from this vehicle. Everything here, here, panels are removed there, doors are removed here, doors are removed here. Uh, the radio is gonna be in the process of coming out right now because we get the radio installed. Uh, pretty much gonna show you everything that's going into this bad boy. It's gonna be a ground zero ported single eight woofer. It's tuned by ground zero, it's gonna be amazing. We're doing a five channel, uh, 1800.5 Nemesis Audio. We're doing Nemesis Audio Vocal. We're doing a Pioneer Double Din. And all this is gonna be going inside, as you can see right here. You got a speaker from Nemesis Audio. We're not going pro audio. We're going co actually Josh, pop that open for the people to see what we got going on here. So they can see exactly what's going on. We got my boy Josh up in the building. Follow him on his YouTube. What is your YouTube channel? Low Class Josh. Low Class Josh. Do we really want to have that name? <laughs> This is your six, uh, five and a quarter that'll be going into the bad boys of coaxial. Um, so we should be sounding pretty good, man. But follow him also, low class Josh, man. He's gonna be putting a lot of these bills out there too. So just stay tuned if we keep on getting the car buttoned up and ready to go. So this is where we are right now. I'm gonna give you an update on the car. We have actually just finished putting the panels in the back already. Speakers are installed there. Now they're gonna start working on the doors, getting the door panels together and start building it build up. We should have it done not too not too long. I would say maybe about an hour and a half. We should have this one ready to go, guys. And uh, customers should be very happy if we get this build going for him. That's in the Mustang 5.0, as you see right now. They actually got the front speakers installed on the unit too. Then this is all your front speakers are done. So now they're gonna start doing the amplifications and getting everything else situated for her to be ready to get, um, the four channel amp part installed on the dash and all that stuff. So just stay tuned if we keep on rocking and rolling on this bad boy. We should have her, then like I said, about an hour from now, they got the subs and everything rolling. Stay tuned for the final build on Trace Mustang. Thing crazy today at the shop. We got the Fox body that I showed y'all. We have another 2018 Mustang. This is an Eco Beast or Eco Boost as you guys call them here, man. Getting a system installed. And then we got this other one over here also getting a system installed. This one actually belongs to a female, man. This is her car, that guy, referred her to the store today and we're doing her system install also. She got a 5.0 though, man. The girl's got the 5.0 motor. This is her over here. You can see her is Stang Sisters DAW is the car group, but she has a beautiful Mustang, man. All blacked out, smoke tail lights. She got the blackout one for the light plate, got the exhaust in the back, a diffuser. She got a little JBL subwoofer for added to her car today. But it's pretty interesting that we have a female who driving a 5.0 and he's running an EcoBoost. What's up, y'all? Step up your game, y'all. But you know what? It is what it is, man. It's Thanks season today here. We're going to do what we got to do. We don't only work on Mopars. You got a Toyota, Honda. If you have an Acura, if you have a Dodge, if you have a Chevy, you got a Ford. Whatever you have, bring it to the shop. Guaranteed going to make it work for y'all. Boss came in the shop. Mrs. Audio Cats up in the building today with her husband in the shop. I love to see it. But I want to I show you something that came in the shop. It's really, really bad. Y'all got to see this. It's not for your flight check, is it? No, no, no. This is actually a car in the front that's really hot. Wait till my wife sees this car, y'all. Watch, go out the door. Look at that car that's right there. Bad ass. Put your mask on, honey. Yeah, but no, no, look at this car. Oh, I got you. I got you. Yo, she turned gold. Yo, she literally went. Oh. Come here, come here. Yo, she froze on you, dude. <laughs> Come here. Look, That's not right. walk into the back. Let me see if we could get somebody else. So I could get somebody else here. Hold on. That is not right. In fact, you know what? Come here. I think no, I'm no, no. So hold on. You see, you know what? Come into this door. That was watch here. They grab this. Stand right here. I'm gonna have somebody come back here to grab. Put that on. But you gotta do something. You gotta. When got you see it. the door clicking, you just take off. Let's see if we can get somebody else here. Go. Josh. Josh, I need you a second. Just two seconds, I know you're busy. Damn, you got a cigarette in your hand. Let me get, can I bother, I need one of yours. Oh, come here. So Josh, got a customer in the front that needs, he says he bought it and I don't see it in the, the sheets. He's got a Mustang, he said we got some DLRs. See if we got a Mustang DLR in that in the office. In the inventory room. <laughs> that was it. It was a joke. It was a joke, Josh. <laughs> now, now, let, now, let, now, 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 let's see how I get Gordon. Tell Gordon to come help. Get in there. Huh? I got one more guy. <laughs> you better stay right here and record all this. Oh, come back here. Maybe Gordon can help you with it. I didn't do Gordo Wonka, Gordo Wonka, my poncho. 
Yeah, for real. I can't find them. Yeah. Cause they're in the inventory. I think they're in there. What? DLR for a Mustang? Look at the back. If one of the cages is in there. Oh, <laughs> Yo, <laughs> he trying to lock you up in there, man. Pennywise. Yeah. Anyway, we just try to have the most fun we can here at the shop, man. Uh, obviously, stay tuned in a minute. All right, Cruz Crew. At this point in time, where we are right now, we are all hands on deck on the Mustang. We're replacing the corner lights, the headlights, and the internal lights on this bad boy. Uh, the old folk working on that himself, and the other team is working on doing a double din install right now. We speak. Trey asked me to go in and replace his switches for him. I guess they were failing him on the lock and unlock, so we went and got him the new lock and unlock binds in there. So now he has those brand new ones in there, and they are going to be tagging this car and getting it together very shortly, y'all. So, meanwhile, this is all going on, guys. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching and supporting this channel, man. Uh, 2021 is going to be a great year. Uh, we're going to stay positive and focused and do the best that we can to give you guys the best vlogs possible. Please comment below and let us know what you guys expect from us so we can give you what you guys want as you guys are the fans, man. So, if we get this car rolling up, I'll bring it back to you in a few minutes and let you guys know what's going on. So for right now, he's in the process of installing these new headlights in his vehicle, giving it a new clean look. Look at the lights that look like original, y'all. And he had on the car. And I'm gonna show you the result when we get it done, so y'all can see the modification that we did to this car. Getting ready to deliver. We're vacuuming and getting everything situated. Getting everything nice and clean. We got the beautiful double dip. I'm gonna show y'all. But right now they're getting everything situated, y'all. To get this car side sealed and delivered to Mr. Tremaine. Uh, it could be a beautiful pleasure to give it to him, man. But uh, let them finish doing this stuff. And I'm gonna get it to the customer and give you guys a full around video of what we accomplished. You know, here ready to go. I want y'all to see the lights done. Everything looking good. We got the four channel, five channel app installed. We also got the, in fact, let me show y'all something here real quick. Let me let me walk over here. We got the beautiful double din installed in the car. We have the ground zero subwoofer installed in the car, removable and the five channel amp. Look at the owner of the car, Mr. Tremaine. Y'all seen him from the gray Challenger, old school SRT8 up in the building. This is his car. Y'all also saw this car running against that man, against his Camaro. This is his car. He's about to listen to it for the first time. I'm about to vlog it. I can't let y'all hear the music of the copyright, so hold on. Bro, so we, we just got the lights installed. We're gonna put it on the streets to make sure that the lighting is proper and get it done. Man, the 5.0 up in the building. I still can't believe that he bought this car. It's so beautiful, so gorgeous, man. I wanna make sure he got proper lighting, though, before he takes his car. We're gonna upgrade those things to LED soon. I already told him to bring it to me. We're gonna definitely hook him up with that. But I'm about to get the alignment and uh, get it going. So give me a few seconds while I make sure everything's right, y'all, and then we'll get your reveal. Feel you about your baby. How are you loving her so far since you had it? I love her. Yeah, I know you do. You also got a mo bar, but you love her. Yeah. So which one you make love to? Both. Damn. I, I fucked the other one, but I made love to this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was getting to, man. He got the 5.0, he got a double din installed. Everything right. looking good, it's sounding great. Put a little bit of, well, I can't let y'all hear the audio on YouTube because y'all know of a copyright. But I'm gonna end this video right now by telling y'all thank y'all for watching, man. Thank y'all truthfully for the subscriptions. Thank y'all for the support always. Y'all be good and God bless.